Hey there, welcome to another episode of Monday Designs. I'm your host Monday. This video is part of my collection guide series, and today we're going to be talking about demo discs. A while back on an online forum, I actually uh, read this kind of weird debate about whether or not demo discs had any kind of value to them. And um, I decided to make this video as kind of a response to that. And um, first off, I'm just going to say that that is not an easy question to answer. It is, um, you know, it is very situational uh, and, you know, there is no clear answer to it whatsoever. Um, now, if a demo disc has personal value to you, like uh, some of my old PlayStation Underground discs, then yeah, I mean it has value to you. But as for value on the market, like eBay, um, yeah, yes and no. Um, are you going to get rich selling demo discs? Probably not. But um, you know, the the thing is, is, like, are they really worth anything? For most cases, like the magazine demos and stuff like that, um, they're probably not worth too terribly much. I could see them maybe reaching around twenty dollars if it's for like a popular magazine. Like uh, I have all all of the uh, episode or all of the magazines for the uh, Dreamcast magazine except for issue zero, and I actually have all of the demo discs for those as well. And uh, I did go online and spend a little bit of extra money. And I think I spent like maybe two dollars to to get a demo disc that I was actually missing uh, from my you know Dreamcast magazine collection but you know that's that's why it had value to me it was because I was a a big Dreamcast supporter and I, I was missing one episode or one issue of the Dreamcast magazine and it's because uh, Sega forgot to uh, send it to me and when I wrote them and complained they said you know that's tough. Um, I didn't really like their answer, but you know that's what they came up with. Um, but you know, I ended up purchasing that magazine on eBay uh, years later and purchasing the demo disc as well. Um, now, uh, some demos, you know, could be considered part of a collection. Uh, like I consider uh, the the demo disc for the Lunar game. That was a separate, you know, in a cardboard sleeve demo disc, you know, part of the Working Designs collection because it was widely available to all consumers. Um, and it's just kind of nice to have it to go along with everything else that I have for Working Designs. Um, now, the other thing is. Demo discs do have some kind of value if they are packaged with a game. Uh, you cannot technically call a game complete if there was a demo disc that was supposed to be included with it and you don't have that demo disc in your eBay listing or your Craigslist or whichever you know online retailing site that you're using or auction site. Um, I, I don't really like seeing, you know, a game that's like, you know, like Vanguard Bandits comes out and someone's got a copy of it and, so, and they and it's in the double jewel disc and stuff, and jewel case, and they say that the game's complete and it has the the cover and the manual and it comes with the game disc and but it's missing the demo disc that comes with it and. You know, a lot of people just would think, well, so what? It was like, well, it does matter because that was sold as a retail part of the game. And if if I was gonna if I was in the market for a copy of Vanguard Bandits and you know the person wanted the true value of it but was missing the demo disc, I wouldn't buy that copy. I wouldn't buy that copy at all. So yes, in some cases, demo discs definitely have value, or can deter, or, or can like subtract value from, you know, a listing, because that suddenly that game is not truly complete in my eyes. 
but some people don't feel the same way. Heck, you guys might not feel the same way about it. And, you know, that's, that's where I'm going to lead into, you know, tell me what your thoughts are. Please leave it in the comments below. You know, I, I definitely want to hear what you guys think about the value of demo discs. You know, I've, I've been going through and collecting them up for a little while. I have old PlayStation demo discs. I have PlayStation 2 demo discs. I have uh, GameCube, Sega Saturn demo discs. Uh, you know, the Dreamcast magazine. I have all of that except for Issue Zero. And, you know, I would love to have Issue Zero, but I'm not paying the prices that I'm currently seeing for Issue Zero. Uh, but you know, please just let me know what you think. You let, let me go. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely interested. Well, that's it for this episode of Mundane Designs. I'm your host Mundane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a wonderful day.